Our guest author for this unit on environmental economics is Warwick Moss. Traditionally, there has been a view that there will always be tension between the economic and environmental pillars of sustainability. As protecting the environment is costly, and as businesses and organizations mainly focus on profits, and the environment might always lose out. Lately, though, this view has been changing particularly as we look at internalizing environmental externalities and also as the concept of green economies gains momentum. Economic measures are sometimes seen as the exact opposite of regu regulatory measures that we looked at in Unit 5 on environmental law. They are seen as allowing increased flexibility and also decentralized decision making. This is a really important thing for organizations to consider as governments move more towards a mix of environmental protection measures which include economic instruments, regulation, as well as education. The carbon tax is a classic example of this. This unit provides you with a rapid sweep of the broad um, environmental economic principles. We begin the unit with a brief view of these particular principles and how these affect environmental protection. Key economic tools and techniques are then explained and these include valuation tools, cost-benefit analysis as well as multi-criteria analysis. While environmental economics um, is the traditional view of economics such as neoclassical economics, uh, we do have another field that we want to explore with you, which is called ecological economics, which places the economy more within environmental limits. And it is much more aligned with those quite drastic and fundamental changes in thinking and doing that we've been talking about throughout this course. The final section of this unit does provide you with a couple of readings on ecological economics. And it'll be great to discuss and debate your views about this particular area of sustainability.